Hi, in this video, we are going to continue our discussion to the content based filtering. Uh, on the screen, you can see a very high level algorithm working of uh, content based filtering. So uh, uh, let's talk about it. Uh, in the content based filtering, the first thing is the platform tries to understand what a user likes. Okay. Uh, the platform understand what a user likes then it try to derive the type of content that user is liking okay then it looks into its own uh, entire directory and choose the content which is very much relevant to the user and then it finds the best fit of content and then it recommend it to the user okay uh, this this was very high level thing and we will come back to it once we have you know gone through the entire concept okay now uh, for example take a scenario of movie recommendation now uh, taking you as an example you have watched three movies in the romance category and now you want to watch a fourth movie uh, so if a system if you ask the system for the fourth movie it will look for other movies that you have watched okay then it will look in its and in its own directory what uh, what are the romance movies it is having and uh, on the basis of that it will make the recommendation for you the another way to approach it uh, this was very vague okay uh, because uh, just because you have watched a romance movie does not mean that you have liked it okay so uh, the uh, the another way to approach this problem is by analyzing the ratings that a user has given the feedback that user has given so suppose you have watched three movies and for the three movies you have give the following feedback uh, a was 9 by 10 then b was 4 by 10 then c was 5 by 10 now the system will most likely recommend you the type of movie which has got the highest feedback from you okay so the system should a good recommend system should recommend you a movie which uh, which is related to the type of movie to which you have given the highest feedback the computer's approach uh, based on the previous rating what the predicted movie uh, okay we will see that okay now uh, now the next thing we will do is uh, we uh, if you remember we just discussed this flowchart right now we will break this flowchart into four four different steps okay now what was the step one we understand what type of uh, movies the user likes okay we understand what user likes okay so that is the step one uh, we understand what user likes so suppose we have the, these three movies that we had named earlier a b and c and these are the ratings that user had provided okay so uh, understand what user likes this is done by looking at the historical data set obviously and from our data we understand that our user likes the movie the avengers but does not like fault in our stars okay then we move to step two we derive the type of content that is liked by the user okay the system does not understand the name of the movie okay so we derive we and we try to understand what type of content the user is liking so we break down the content into the categories what we do uh, we have certain genre for movies we have superhero adventure tragedy sci-fi and we have romance okay so we derive what type of content the user is liking so uh, first of all we have the movie matrix in which uh, the movie uh, if a movie has a certain genre then the value is one if movie does not have their genre then the value is zero so the avengers is a superhero movie it's an adventure movie it's a sky fi movie and similarly for all the movies now what we do here we have done a little bit of computation i'll just increase the size of my screen so it's good visible okay so uh, the next thing that we do is uh, we create a weighted genre matrix how do we do that uh, initially we have the user matrix user rating matrix right and this is what we call as user input uh, then we have movie matrix just you know just try to stay with me for a little while okay this is uh, this is very interesting actually once you understand this uh, you have the movie matrix in which you have one not encoding of all the categories of the movies the next thing you do is you multiply 
यू मल्टीप्लाई रो वाइज ओके यू मल्टीप्लाई रो वाइज ऑल द वैल्यूज ओके सो एंड दिस वे यू जनरेट अ वेटेड जॉनर मैट्रिक्स सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी यू मल्टीप्लाई ऑल द वैल्यूज इन द एवेंजर्स विद योर यूजर्स फीडबैक सो ऑल द वैल्यूज बिकम एट सिमिलरली बिकम फोर सिमिलरली दे बिकम सिक्स ओके सो द वंस यू हैव जनरेटेड द वेटेड जॉनर मैट्रिक्स द नेक्स्ट थिंग यू डू यू ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट टाइप ऑफ जॉनर योर यूजर लाइक्स एंड यू डू दैट by applying the summation uh, uh, column wise uh, okay so you see that your user actually likes uh, your user has actually given uh, got 8 uh, for superhero 14 for adventure tragedy it's 4 sky fi is 14 romance is 4 and then we perform normalization because uh, uh, normalization is basically a operation uh, doing which you try to basically uh, map the huge data set uh, to a smaller value okay so you create this type of matrix and this type of matrix is basically called as user profile matrix uh, doing that we have understood what type of we have derived what type of content is liked by the user and uh, it is very clear here okay all right now the next step we have is we derive the type of content in the items to be recommended now the platform is going to look at its own directory and try to find what type of content it is having okay so that is step 3 in which we derive the type of content in the item to be recommended so uh, this particular matrix become the candidate movie matrix in which we have four movies that we have to recommend next to the user and uh, we have this similar uh, you know genre matrix for uh, all the movies so one not encoding okay the step 4 is where we do a uh, we find the best match okay how do we find the best match we again perform a little bit of matrix mat uh, multiplication uh, the finding the best match in content we multiply the user profile matrix with the candidate movie matrix so this is the user profile matrix that we had generated in the step 2 okay then we do a column wise multiplication uh with the candidate movie matrix that we had generated in step 3 okay uh so we do uh, the multiplication like this all the columns are multiplied okay so uh, everything becomes something like this and then what we do we take a row wise summation uh, by the way by doing this we generate a weighted movie matrix and by now from the weighted movie matrix we take a row wise summation and doing that we finally get the recommendation table which we are going to use to make the recommendation to the user the every candidate movie has got some type of numerical rating here and the movie with the highest rating is the movie that the recommender system should recommend to the user so for example we have got a uh, 1.31 for spiderman which is very obvious because the user had liked the avengers and the next best uh, recommendation is for the harry potter okay so there there is how the recommender system so work and uh, i know this might look like a little bit of stretch but trust me once you understand it it looks much simpler and much uh, Uh, good to it is very easy to visualize actually and it makes a lot of sense so the recommender systems can be improved by including more genre about info information about the movies then this is very obvious because the more details you have about your system the better your model is going to get uh, what are what are some of the limitations of content based filtering now if a movie of a new genre is added to the list uh, suppose that genre is horror okay now this movie won't be recommended to any user who has not watched horror film in the past and hence the user won't come across a new type of content uh, so this was uh, so this was all about this video in the next video we are going to discuss about the second type of recommender systems that is collaborative filtering